have a couple of questions posed on the Q&A, but I wanted to unpack a little bit about the parental rights uh, point because I believe a lot of people do not understand the language. Lots of immigrants uh, or people whose English is a second language or just don't follow politics, period, uh, don't understand the, the concept of convergence therapy and how too much is being squeezed in the term and then they don't know about Bill C-8 and what you're trying to do uh, to protect uh, our children. So can you unpack that a little bit? Sure. So, so Bill C-8 is a bill that the Liberals uh, have brought in, and it uh, attempts to outlaw what they call conversion therapy. So what they mean by that uh, is that um, if your child were to come to you and, and, and say, hey, mom, I think that I'm, if they're born a boy, and they say, hey, I think I'm actually a girl, or vice versa, and uh, I don't even know if everyone on the call is aware of this, but we're having uh, a pandemic of another sort in this country where more and more children uh, are being taught things in school and they're coming home and they're having confusion about whether in fact they're actually the gender that they were born. And um, I believe a lot of it is societal uh, in terms of just, uh, you know, if, 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 if a child's friend is having questions, then a child is more likely to have questions. And what the liberals are doing is they're saying, if, you, if your son, for example, thinks that they're a girl, um, you cannot get them counseling to help them realize that they're actually a boy. I mean, it, it's weird that I'm saying these words. It, it's, it, it, it's unusual. Um, they're saying, no, if he thinks he's a girl, then he must be a girl. And therefore, you can get him to take uh, you know, puberty blocking medication, you can get him on the track to surgical transition, which is like a sex change operation, but you cannot get him counseling to try and convince him that he's actually a boy, even though he was born a boy. Um, you know, it just boggles my mind. It's hard to even explain how, how, how weird this is. They, they're saying if you try and, they call that conversion therapy. If you try and get your child counseling to help them uh, stay with the gender that they were born, you could go to jail. And so, um, and they've coupled this in with conversion therapy when it comes to sexual orientation and so forth. But, um, you know, th that, the way I've crystallized it is, is essentially uh, what it is. And, you know, another candidate, Peter McKay, slammed me for uh, criticizing this bill. So I don't, you know, Peter McKay, I don't believe he truly thinks that this bill is without problems, but he's trying to appeal so much to this sort of soft liberal center that he was willing to slam me on a bill that the liberals call the most progressive bill of its sort in the world. And if you can't find a way to criticize what the liberals call the most progressive bill uh, in the world, then you're not a true conservative. 